Okay, we are back in Better Than Ever. We are talking about geometric operations with vectors. Um, oh, in previous years, um, we had only, uh, or we had used vectors involving distance and directions. Um, the vector in, in this case here, um, the, these vectors represent displacements. And displacement is, okay, how far are you from start to finish, no matter um, if you went back and forth getting there. It's the, uh, the distance from point A to point B. So here's just a quick example. A runner runs east for four kilometers, then south for two. How far is she from her starting point and in what direction? And we, is she, well, she's what? The square root of 16 plus 4, so square root of 20 kilometers, and in the direction of um, theta. Okay, so this vector here describes her magnitude, which would be the distance, and her direction, which would be, uh, we could describe using theta. Um, let's consider this. Suppose we have three towns. P, Q, and R. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's say P, uh, Q, and R. A trip from P to Q followed by a trip from Q to R has the same origin and destination as a trip from P to R. Uh, this can be expressed in the vector form as the sum P, Q plus Q, R equals P, R. What in the world does that mean? Well, let's take a look. Um, so, a trip from P to Q, so in vector form, that would look like this. And then from Q to R would look like that. Okay. And we, what we say using vectors is that's the exact same thing as a trip from P to R. That's an example of displacement. The displacement is the magnitude of the vector PR, even though we didn't go that, um, that particular route. Um, the important thing is we've just learned about the addition of vectors, and that is that PQ plus QR is equal to PR. The vector PQ plus QR is equal to PR. And take a look at how I did that. Uh, the vector started at P and terminated at Q. And then to uh, add another vector to it, I just connect it to its tail there, its termination point, and go in the other direction. And so from P to, P to R is the starting point of vector PQ and the terminating point or the terminal point of vector QR. Okay, so let's take a look at the surprises underneath here. Um, you know, the, the P's, Q's, and R's really could be anywhere. And we could say P to Q, Q to R, the resultant is PR. P to Q, Q to R, the result is PR. It doesn't matter where P, Q, and R are located. Um, it, it, the results would be the same. And then if we take a look here, um, we have a bit of a definition. After uh, If we look at these diagrams, if I'm going to construct the vector A plus B, I draw a vector A, and at the arrowhead of A, I start my drawing of B, and then the start of A to the um, end of B gives me the vector A plus B. Okay, and that's, that's another interesting here, uh, interesting thing. This is the same, uh, th if this is vector PQ and this is vector QR, we can think of this as PQ plus QR. Of course, we would call it PR, but again, I can't emphasize enough how those are equivalent vectors. PQ plus QR equals PR. Also notice, it's kind of like I go from P to Q and then Q to R. So the resultant vector, vector, <laughs> the resultant vector is from P to R as long as these two middle uh, letters match. That's your resultant vector. That's what the vector is equal to. Okay, a lot of notation and thinking here. Uh, what did I mess up there? Back here, back here, back here. Boy, I went a long way. Okay, given A and B as shown, construct A plus B. All right, well, 
I'm going to go to my arrows here, and vector A is what? 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I can start anywhere. I'll start down here. Um, okay, so 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's vector A. Can't get the arrowheads quite right, for, so forgive me there. And then B is down to um, right 4. So from there, I'm going to go down to right 4. So, ah, that's pretty good. So the resultant vector, A plus B, is this, from here to here. Easy peasy pumpkin pie. Now with a pencil, you'll be able to be more exact. So this is A, and this is vector B, and this is the vector A plus B. Since I don't write in, I can't write in boldface, then I put the vector uh, symbol above the letters. Okay, the zero vector. Um, we just defined vector addition, um, and this is just a very simple concept. The zero vector is a vector of length zero. Yes, that does exist. For any vector a, a plus zero equals zero plus a equals a, that makes sense. But if I add a and its opposite, that's the same as uh, taking a's opposite and adding a, and that will result in zero. Um, and we call that the zero vector. You don't see it very often, but if we write the zero vector, we write it with a zero and the vector symbol above it. Okay, now find a single vector which is equal to bc plus ca. It's very, very simple. Okay, Basically, I'm starting at b and I'm ending at a. So I go from BC to CA. Well, that is simply the vector BA. And let's just show that. So BC to CA, we're just adding vectors here. So I go from the start of BC to the end of CA, and there I get the vector BA. Okay, now do you have to draw it on there? Probably not, but you know, if you have to, you have to. Um, again, if you just recognize the letters here, then we're, we're okay if all the letters are the same. BA, or I'm sorry, the letters in between are the same. The C matches the C here. Let's check this out. BA plus AE plus EC. AA, those are the same. And then EE, those are the same. So the resulting vector, or the sum, is the start to the finish. So this is vector BC. Now there are some exceptions to that, which we will see. So just geometrically, BC, I'm sorry, not BC, sorry about that. BA, so it's this vector, bam, uh, plus AE, plus EC, oh, that's a horrible vector. So start to finish, that's just BC, and there's our guy. Okay, so what else do we have? A, B, B, C, C, A. I don't think I have to draw these anymore. Very simple. That's going to equal the letters match here, the letters match here. So that is just vector A, A. That's weird, isn't it? Vector A, A. Well, vector AA starts and ends at A, so that is also the zero vector, okay? AB plus BC plus CD plus DE. Again, the letters all match in between, so I can immediately write AE. Okay, lots to talk about with vectors. I think I'm going to stop, and this will be part one of our videos on geometric operations with vectors. See you next time.